Okay, so I wanted to do um, a little video. This is an emo zone and uh, customer got their bike. Now this is a bike uh, that we sent out that we actually switched the throttle on. Um, we switched the throttle to the left hand side, but that doesn't actually make a difference in this potential issue. So the issue is, is that the, um, the lights are not coming on. The dash lights are coming on and when the high beams are on, um, they don't come on, but you still have four ways, you still have signals, and you still have your flasher, but you don't have this light and you don't, well, you don't have any lights at the front. So there's a few connections and one is um, the headlights. You can see down there, that is one of the headlights connected on the left side. You have the same one on the right side. But it's also the connection to um, your switch here. Uh, and Darren, you can see it right in the middle. It's right there. It's one of the bigger harnesses. Mm -hmm. Push that up a little, it's, uh, past the 10, yeah. That harness there. You wanna check to see that, that um, all those wires are plugged in and the, it's clipped in. That one is. So then the other connection that you want to check is actually in the switch itself. So you'd have to get the throttle off, which can come off easier, but sometimes needs uh, like a heat gun. No, just pull it off, okay. So you're gonna take that out. And there are two screws holding that together. Now this isn't the bike that has the issue on it. This is just for demonstration. And so you lift that up and that is the last set of connections that you want to see are connected. How many are there? Five. There's five. So as you can see with e-bikes, it's not just one thing. It's working back from what do we got? Three different connections here, that connection, the main harness, and then the switch. Um, and then of course there's another connection to your DC converter and that pretty much finishes that series. And yeah, so then that's all fine. And I'll actually, I'll watch you put that back together. And then how that, and then there's the screw there that uh, holds it back onto the handlebar, right? Yeah, two of them actually. Two. So we're actually doing this video because uh, Jason will probably be watching this shortly. Um, this is kind of how we work through uh, because uh, I guess my territory is all over Canada. And even if somebody was half an hour away or 10 minutes away, and um, this is kind of a good way to troubleshoot and help our customers from a distance. So that goes back on there. And there's obviously that little, um, what would you call that? Uh, yeah, there's a little prong. Set, set screw. A set screw, yeah. And it goes in that little hole so it doesn't turn. Uh, just like that. And then those two, just two uh, Phillips screws in the bottom. These guys. Those are the two long screws that go in underneath, right? Yeah, just like under here. Okay. And that's it. That's it.